Hey. Oh my gosh, it really is you. Long time no see. Did you miss me? It's been what? Three years since we last saw each other? Though, I feel like it's hell way longer than that. I missed you so much. Or rather, I've missed all those terror-filled expressions you make. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, relax, darling. Trust me, you really wouldn't want to cause a scene right now. What do you think would happen if one of the teachers end up catching us in here all alone, in a dark classroom, after school hours? <gasps> Especially when on the edge of the school like this. Who knows what might happen? Yeah, I don't think it would be a very good look, especially for you. Especially when I tell them you and all your friends have been harassing me on my very first day. Like I said before, just imagine that. A group of students get caught bullying the poor transfer student on his very first day, even forcing him into some dark classroom at the edge of the school. <laughs> By the look on your face, I think you're starting to see what I mean now. Not expecting them to take your side, right? So, how about you just relax and... Do not move. There we go. Much better. Sit back down and don't try and push me away, okay? Good. Glad we're on the same page. Now that all that's out of the way, we can start to catch up. It really has been forever since we last saw each other. Though, I still can't believe you never responded to all the letters I sent you when you moved. Don't you value our relationship at all? Oh, calm down. Stop glaring so hard. It's not a cute look for you. See, I really didn't want to have to leverage the teachers to torment you, and I especially didn't want to bring your friends into this just yet. It's no fun to bully some randoms just to get to you, though. Though, from the looks of it, it does seem to be pretty effective to really get to you. <laughs> I guess this is a new experience for the both of us, considering it's your first time having any friends. Who knows? Maybe this is the way to do it. Maybe... I can make you even more miserable by targeting your friends instead. That could be a lot of fun. Oh, there it is. That's the look of terror I've been missing. Did mentioning your little friends really strike a nerve for you? <laughs> oh, I've missed this so much. You would not believe how bored I was getting at my old school. Sure, the school was a lot more prestigious than this place. But everyone there was just so sensitive. I put the smallest bit of pressure on any of them and they immediately broke. They were no fun compared to you. So, what have you been up to recently? Have you been having fun while off my leash? It sure looks like you have been. I mean, look at you. You've actually got friends here. No one's been making fun of you. And you even seem kind of popular with some of the guys. It looks like you've learned to stop hating people so much. Though... I guess that'll happen once you find people who treat you gently. People who don't treat you like I do. 
You care about them a lot, right? Um, did you just lie to me? Wow, how much have you grown to be able to lie to me? That's something we should have to celebrate. Right, the fact that you're able to lie to me about them means you must really care about them. It looks like threatening them to get to you is going to be more fun than I thought. Back then, I had you wrapped around my finger, and with this, we can go so much farther. I'll be able to tell you to jump, and you won't even be brave enough to ask how high. The possibilities are endless now that you've grown so much. Though, honestly, a different part of me absolutely hates this. It's no fun seeing you enjoying your time here, even if I can use it to my advantage. I hate to see that you've changed at all. What happened to the miserable little face I fell in love with? <laughs> I just got here and I already miss it being on your face 24-7. Clearly, you've gotten too comfortable here, not having to deal with all my fun little pranks and all that. Ooh, now I'm thinking about them again. Some of my pranks were really fun, like... Remember that time I filled your desk with slime? It completely destroyed all your notes right before that pop quiz. Perfect timing on my part, really. Oh, or that time I left thumbtacks on your chair. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. You practically jumped out of your chair as soon as you sat down. The whole class looked at you like you were crazy. Oh, that prank was so good. Probably why I did it to you, like, 50 times now that I think about it. Hey, do not call me sadistic. I'm not some sadist you'd find in a porno. It can only be called S&M when both sides recognize it as such. But what I'm doing is just bullying you one-sidely. Unlike with that S&M stuff, I'm the only one having fun here. Though, maybe you're into this nowadays. Is that true? Do you like being pinned under a guy like this? I've been told I have good legs before. Tell me, do you think that's true? Now that we're both so much older, do you end up checking out your bully? And do you enjoy it when I pin you against the wall like this? Say it. Say I like being pinned by you. Actually, no, that doesn't sound creepy enough. Say I absolutely love it when you push me against the wall like this. Yeah, that sounds more fitting for you. Now say it. I'm waiting. Or would you rather I go find out how your friends would like to go through some of those old pranks I've done? Oh, there we go. Much better. Oh, give me a compliment, too. Compliment how I look. Something like, your thighs look so good in those jeans, or something creepy like that. <laughs> That's it. You sound so pathetic right now. Oh, this is bringing me back now. I haven't had this much fun since you left. <sighs> There really is nothing as fun as torturing the one you love. <laughs> do you really not believe I love you? I've been telling you that I do since we first started having all these games. Unlike most people, though, my love just ends up being a lot meaner than normal. That doesn't make it any less real, though. If anything, it makes it even more... Intense. <laughs> I mean, look at us here right now. I threw away my spot at a prestigious school, all so I could come and see you. If that's not love, I don't know what is. 
Sure, a real relationship between us would never work, but this is a lot more fun. I can't name a single thing I like more than pranking you. The slime thumbtacks were fun, sure, but those were just scratching the surface of all the fun we could have. Since you left, I've thought up so many different ways to torture you. Getting your friends involved will make it all the more fun if I play my cards right. I'm going to leave it at that for today. I'm sure your head is spinning right now. Don't want to overwhelm you too much. Just know that, even if my little speech there ended up sounding a little contradictory at some points, all you need to remember is two things. I love you more than you could ever imagine, and I'm going to make your life a living hell. <laughs> Bye-bye now.